Hey, Tom. Thanks for having me on the program. Um, I'm calling to push back on the remarks a caller made a couple of days ago about the Second Amendment and Jefferson's Tree of Liberty letter. Sure. While Jefferson does appear to imply that the citizenry ought to be able to, as well as expected to, take up arms and resistance on occasion, the sentiment of his position focuses on the spirit of resistance, indicating civic engagement, loyalty, and concern, rather than the means of resistance where arms may demonstrate to those in power a serious desire for change and the will to enact change. How do, Jefferson how do you, was an elite how do you, member of... How do you know that? I mean, what, what, what informs you of that? Well, uh, the exact line from the letter... You know, paraphrase it. Just tell me what, what, it, what in your opinion, it says. I can, I can read the letter myself later. Um, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, I can't find it right now. That's all right. Um, but basically... He doesn't mention I'm, weapons I'm not, or arms. I'm not disagreeing right? with your position. I'm pushing back on this other guy. Right. No, Jefferson I understood that should undeniable, that undesirable and oppressive conditions persist, though, the people would not endlessly tolerate and resistance would be the inevitable outcome. Right. The spirit of resistance is where Americans seem to have a disconnect as the most vocal proponents of gun rights seem to be enamored with and relish the idea of using firearms to achieve political goals, which is the opposite of responsible gun ownership. The dangerous aspect of our current dynamic is that Donald Trump and the Republican Party know Americans are fed up and primed for resistance against the neoliberal policy that has been endured over the past 40 plus years and the republicans are exploiting that popular resentment yeah. in order to gain power and well, I, I, I agree with your analysis americans against you know, ra rather than reading something daryl you can just you know tell me what you want to say it, it'll it'll sound a hell of a lot better um uh, so so what you're saying essentially is that jefferson never was never referenced the second amendment never referenced reference weaponry um that what he was saying was you know, resistance to uh, to oppressive government regulation or rules or laws or whatever is is entirely appropriate. Um, but uh, you know, on the other hand, he he did say you know the tree of liberty needs to be watered with the blood of patriots. I mean, how do you reconcile those two arguments? Okay, well, I did find the letter, and he said. Uh, and what country can preserve its liberties if their rulers are not warned from time to time that their people preserve the spirit of resistance? And then he says, let them take arms. The remedy is to set them right as to facts, pardon and pacify them. And so what I'm saying is he is saying that that liberty is still there, but that's not what we should ultimately strive for. We should be engaged Right. And it's about the spirit rather than actually using the violence. I like your analysis. I like your analysis, Daryl. I'll, I'll have to look up the letter myself and, and, you know. But thank you. Thank you very much for that. I appreciate the call. It's 21 minutes past the hour. We'll be right back.